it is, my brand new, how do you pronounce this? Suzanne Japanese Dozuki Dovetail Handsaw, seven inch, pull saw, tenon saw for cross cuts, rip cuts, slant cutting. What does it say? Number of teeth, 15. Okay, so I've been using some pull saws, 52 teeth per inch, 24 teeth per inch. This has 15, so this is gonna be much more aggressive. Let me talk a little bit before I test this thing out, because all my videos are all about talking. I'm new to woodworking. Ever since I was younger, every wood project I attempt is a nightmare. I've posted some videos of bird uh, feeders, bird houses that I've made. I can't get a straight cut with a jigsaw. Even when using uh, a guide, I can't get a straight cut with a circular saw, a hand saw, uh, Japanese pull saws. My cuts are slanted, they're beveled. If I use a jigsaw, the beginning of the cut is not the same as the middle of the cut, and the end of the cut is just as bad. So I want to make some projects. I'm struggling to do everything. I don't really want to buy a miter saw. I mean a real miter saw, an electric one, but I might have to. So I bought this saw and I thought, how much is this thing? 30 bucks? It's not that bad. Um, I don't care how good or bad this saw is. I'm not going to return it. I am not going to return it. One of the pull saws that I have must be like 18, 19 inches. The, the problem with these things is they're huge. You cannot buy a small three or four inch saw like this. Uh, they, they don't sell them and the ones they sell they're little tiny razor things and this was, I used the razor one, I used two different saws and you can see the 60 degree angle that I've got. It's not even, the saw didn't go through on one of them, I had a sand. Part of this cut is beautiful, the other part of it is not even. So there are things that I want to be able to do at home. I'm never going to be a good woodworker. This is just something to do right now uh, in between all my other hobbies of guitar and fixing things and repair. So I thought, let's go buy the saw. We'll test it out. We'll see how it works. It's got a shorter handle, much more aggressive on the amount of teeth. Uh, maybe that's what I need. It's also got a little bit more depth. One of the razor saws I had only was about one and seven eighths inch. And I couldn't even, uh, I couldn't get through the uh, miter box that I built, or the miter box that I had. So I'm going to test this out. I'm just going to do a, a straight cut. Maybe I'll mark on here. Well, you know, I marked on here with the 60 degree, with the, uh, the triangle. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I can't do this on camera. Sorry, I'm not that good. I'm really slow at this. I am going to use this saw, and I'm going to try to cut on a table because I don't have a workbench. I'm doing this indoors now at 9 o'clock at night. I'm going to try to cut the 60 degree angle and I'll show it to you afterwards. I'll tell you what I think about the saw. You'll see if it was good or bad. You'll, not the saw. You'll see if my workmanship is good or bad and how the cut came out. Maybe this will save me. Maybe I don't have to buy an electric saw. I probably have to but we'll uh, see. And I want you to check this out again. Notice you can see how uneven it is. It's flat over there and then it bumps up over here. And it's, I don't have skills. I've got good skills for other things, uh, but wood, everything I do with wood is a failure. And I'm gonna try to cut this thing right now. And I'll be back and I'll let you know what I think of this uh, saw. I will leave, oh, it's a seven inch blade. Ladies will understand that seven inch uh, blade thing. I used an X-Acto knife to score the cut because I, the blade, unlike the other saws, the razor saws that I have, what is it, the kerf? The kerf? I think it's the kerf. Um, the kerf, the thickness of the blade is much thicker than the, uh, the 52 teeth per inch that I've got, which would start this off really nicely. So I had a hard time biting into the wood with this. Also, I don't have a vise. I'm holding this, so there's a lot of rocking and knocking, and I'm looking at this right now, and we might already be off. I don't know. This could be a nightmare. 
I thought I would show you a little bit of the cutting. The saw is, the, the teeth are biting into the wood. And that is probably because I'm holding the saw the wrong way. I have no talent, I have no skill, and I just don't know what I'm doing. But I really am want to take the time to get a straight cut on here. So let's see, let's try to get that better into the picture. And this is on a table. You can see I'm holding the wood. I've got my uh, visor on, I'm trying to see. See, listen to this. So unlike the saws that I've used before, these teeth are much more aggressive. And I'm lightly holding the handle, just trying to let the saw do its thing. I'm trying to let the saw do its cutting. And some of you might say I should have it like this, and others might say I should have it like this. What I really should have is, oh, I pushed. You don't push on a pull. You know that, men. Never pull. I got a piece of wood to put my wood on. Um, I don't, oh no, I just looked, I don't know, I, it looks like I'm going on an angle instead of straight. But I think this wood might help me a little bit. I'm definitely on an angle right now. Um, so you can see I'm struggling as I'm trying to straighten out this line. I, this might work, this might come out okay in the end. See, listen to this, it's very aggressive. I'm trying to let the saw do its thing. I've already ruined it. It's already ruined. See it? It's not even straight. Yeah, it's not even straight. It's already curving, so this is an absolute failure. Um, has to do with the vice. No vice, as we see. There is no vice. I'm trying to correct this again with the saw. Pissed off, so I'm sawing faster now. Really pissed off. That's a beautifully clean cut. Look at that. That's smooth. That is smooth. Look at this. Where is the. Well, you can't because I can't even get it in the. Viewfinder. Look at how narrow that is. So my problems, I think, are I don't have a vice. Everything's flopping all over the place. I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's a fairly impressive, uh, a fairly impressive cut. Now I'm going to close my eyes and touch. Can I say that on here? I can feel a little ridge right in the middle, but nothing like before. Nothing like before at all. Let's see, can I show this on here? I'm not sure if it's focusing. Now what I want to do is get close inspection. I am really impressed. I want to say right off, I don't know how this cut is going to look with the uh, triangle. This saw, the teeth on this saw, just, it's, it's like a struggle for me. They're very aggressive and it not aggressive in cutting it just bites into the wood whereas the other saws I'm used to a lot of teeth per inch and it glides however this cut oh baby oh baby oh baby this is smooth this is wow this might be the saw I'm doing this video in December my dad passed away many years ago in December and I went into his uh, closet and found a triangle that he used when he was in college. 60 degree triangle because all the projects that I'm trying to do use 60 degree cuts. So this is an important thing for me using this triangle and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this up against the wood and remember that first cut that I had which was just a disaster. Let's see how much better we are with a 60 degree cut Wow, look at this. Look at this, oh my goodness. Look at this, people. Let me go over, 
trying to line it up with the wood as best as I can. Maybe this is the way to do it. Finger underneath this, I, I am shocked. I said that about the other video that I just did with a couple of saws, but I had a lot of trouble. Even using the 60 degree miter box, this is just hand drawn and look at this. Now this is gonna make things really difficult because there are a lot of, I wanna do some, uh, I think they're half laps. There's no way I'm gonna be doing half laps. I've gotta do like 36 of them to do a star that I wanna make. And maybe the flat end will be another triangle. Can we do this? Can we do this? Unbelievable. That's probably within a thousandth. You can see a little bit of shaving over there. I'm impressed. I am totally impressed. So, this could be one of my favorite saws. Again, the thing I cannot stand is I'm not used to this aggressiveness of the blade. I, I have to say that it's maybe it's this ridge over here. This gave me, this stopped the blade from bouncing around, and I think that's part of my problem, besides not having a vise. This kept it very erect and rigid and firm and helped me get a really nice cut. So, where is this? Made in Japan. Su Suizan? 